Can Jin be a main DPS? If by main DPS here you mean the one staying on the field, then yes. But if you mean that she's gonna be dealing the most DPS in your team, then chances are probably no. There are better choices. First of all, take a look at this. This is only a small comparison between some sword users, Kaya, which has the highest normal attack modifiers, and Kajin, which is supposed to be the strongest sword user in the game right now, and also comparing to Yula, which is the strongest physical DPS right now, for a 5 star besides Razor. These are their base attack and their ascension bonus. Now here we can see who is designed to be a main DPS and who isn't. Some people are still gonna say just get good artifacts and they're good to go, but the truth is that that's very copium and some characters are just not designed to be the best in that field. So now let's compare the attack speed of their normal attack between the sword users. They have almost the same attack speed, but if you take a look at the multipliers at level 8 over here, in total, Kaya is dealing the most damage for sword users compared to Kushin and Jin. Also, for a reference, this is Jin versus Yula. So, then what makes Kushin deal more damage than Jin in terms of normal attack? Over here we can see the attack speed difference of the charge attack. Kajin is doing a lot faster than Jin. And also that's not the only problem. The other problem is that Jin's charge attack is vertical compared to Kajin which is horizontal. That means it has a very short attack range and also it's hard to deal damage to multiple enemies and also for reverence these are the differences in terms of damage between Eula and Jin of course the weapon totally makes a lot of difference and in this clip Eula has level 10 talent for the normal attack while Jin has level 9 so it's just for a reverence not a clear comparison between the two I know there are several reasons that people want to main her as a DPS just because she's a waifu and a aesthetically pleasing to look at and she's a healer as well. But don't get me wrong, she's still decent at dealing physical damage compared to other characters if you don't have a proper DPS like Ganyu, Hu Tao, and Yula, Xiao. She's still great. But what makes her an exceptional on field is something else entirely. Most of you will probably already know this, but she's great at pulling enemies in and dealing fall damage. So as for the same concept, let's think about this. If Jin has around 330 base attack and crit damage as ascension substats, can we agree that she will be the best DPS in the game right now? So then what's the biggest reason for that? If you notice, every animal users have their own support capabilities with some crowd control ability to a certain extent. Some are better than the others, some are worse. For example, Venti is very good at dealing trash mobs. Well, Jean, personally, I think she's the best at dealing with medium to larger mobs. For example, the Geofi shop, Hatchling, to Fatui's, to even the large chili churches. If you will take a look at these clips. So then, why not build a team composition that's work around these crowd control abilities? Also, just like every other characters, some are just not designed to deal with certain situations. That's why we have a lot of characters. Now, if you take a look at this one, she's really awkward at dealing with trash mobs because they're scattered and she has to get close to group them up together. And 
she needs stamina as well for the charge on the E. So if you absolutely must play her as the one staying on the field, then why not center the team composition around this special trait that she has? For me personally, I'm still using her as a burst support and healer because I have Eula already. The build is totally different from person to person because of how you play her and how the team comp is gonna be. But in general, if you still use her normal attacks a lot, just use physical on her because in total it will deal the most damage. But if you utilize her fall damage and quick swap a lot, then just use animal. A hybrid attack percent goblet is okay if you have high base attack and you don't have that much attack percent substats on your other artifacts. Have fun, good night, and sweet dreams.